Uh, very simple. What you want to do is, is once you decide where you want this to go, typically it's going to probably be at a tail end of something. Uh, so you can try it that way. Uh, what I'm going to do is, is add to the tail end of this little part where he says first. So take a listen to it, just a little bit of what he has. Hey, but the rapture is coming first. So what I want that tape stop effect to end that verse. Uh, so I'm going to add it here to the tail end. So what I'm going to do is change my tool from the cliff to the, you know, the uh, click to pointer to, uh, to the fade tool. Uh, and then what I'm going to do is, is click and select, just click and drag uh, and select over this part right here at the tail end. And it creates a fade. Uh, so what you want to do is, it's all, then how you take, how you uh, create this effect is all based on how you draw this curve you know how you do this curve I mean there's so many different ways you can do it here what you want to do is, is then right click or control click uh, it's probably by default gonna be set on fade uh, but what you want to do is choose slow down uh, and you end up with this kind of effect but the rapture is coming from so you kind of hear that effect uh, and how, like I said, you can kind of play with this curve to get different effects. You can make it as dramatic or as less dramatic as you want. Like if I kind of just do it like that, then you get a little bit more of the first in there. Rapture is coming first. You see what I'm saying? Uh, but you can actually drag this out because all it's doing is slowing down the file. Uh, so I could, you know, draw, drag this out and get a very dramatic effect that sounds something like this. But the rapture. This line a little bit different, more linear, uh, and get a linear fade, a linear slowdown. Raps is coming. You see what I'm saying? So uh, it's it's all in how you want to do it, but that is how you can create the tape stop effect inside Logic Pro X.